The one who observes the day observes it in honor of the Lord. The one who eats eats in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks to God, while the one who abstains abstains in honor of the Lord and gives thanks to God. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Those who observe the day, observe it in honor of the Lord. Also those who eat, eat in honor of the Lord, since they give thanks to God. While those who abstain, abstain in honor of the Lord and give thanks to God. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Whoever regards one day as special, does so to the Lord. Whoever eats meat, does so to the Lord, for they give thanks to God. And whoever abstains, does so to the Lord, and gives thanks to God. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, without painful toil for it. Those who worship the Lord on a special day do it to honor Him. Those who eat any kind of food do so to honor the Lord, since they give thanks to God before eating. And those who refuse to eat certain foods also want to please the Lord and give thanks to God. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. What's important in all this is that if you keep a holy day, keep it for God's sake. If you eat meat, eat it to the glory of God and thank God for prime rib. If you're a vegetarian, eat vegetables to the glory of God and thank God for broccoli. God's blessing makes life rich. Nothing we do can improve on God. <laughs>